This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on guys? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the 2076 World Series baseball bat uh, from Fallout 4 uh, as a part of my unique weapons guide. Uh, now this thing kind of sucks and is a doozy to get uh, you're going to need to you're going to have to get it in jamaica plains uh and i'm just going to say bring power armor bring a lot of weapons because you're going to have to kill a crap ton of ghouls now as you can see here i'm showing you where this is on the map uh between big john's and uh, fair lane hill estates is where how i got to jamaica plains and where the power armor symbol is is where the town hall is uh where the uh 2076 baseball bat is in the basement now you can see here that i uh pointed to that house and kind of up to like a ledge um that is how you get in here because that door I just walked through is normally chained. And what we're going to get off of Luke Silverhand here is the mayor's ID uh, to go through here and uh, basically get this uh, weapon. Now, there is an easier way to do this where you go and you... Uh, pick up some stuff off of two other corpses. Uh, but the problem is, is I when I was clearing out this town, I had one of the cars explode and it, I think, deleted or exploded one of the corpses. So I couldn't main, obtain the items. Uh, now, assuming you get all three of the things from the, all three of the uh, dead NPCs, there's a third, there's a fourth guy that supposedly appears up there and he gives you the password to get through the second part of the security. Uh, now, because we picked up that thing from Luke Silverhand, uh, we're gonna bypass the first thing of security here really easily. Identification acknowledged. And this is gonna well, deactivate those laser beams and the laser turrets. But and those things are kind of a pain and they will kill you. Now, I am gonna hack this terminal uh, and this is the second part of the security. I'm just gonna fail this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to fight these Protectrons. Uh, these Protectrons are tough. Uh, I'm level 20 and I mean, they kind of gave me trouble. So uh, just be aware of that. And you'll see here that it's gonna activate them. I have the uh, Righteous Authority uh, laser rifle here. And then I pulled out a plasma pistol and I killed them. Uh, but I cut that out because I wanted to save some time on this video. Uh, but as you can see here, I am gonna finally pass uh, the uh, terminal here. We're gonna open the door. And then of course you're gonna hear uh, some music play as soon as I push this button up here. Uh, now there's actually a, another unique item you can get in here. And you'll see it right as we open this room. And that is the Anchorage Veterans flag. And that's kind of cool uh, from uh, Fallout 3. I remember Operation Anchorage and that was kind of interesting. But here is the 2076 World Series baseball bat. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show this in action up against a uh, relatively low level enemy. And as you can see, it is pretty lousy. I mean, it's barely doing much damage to him at all. I mean, we do kill him, but, you know, you're almost better off selling this thing. Now... What you can also do uh, is you can sell this baseball bat to Mo Cronin here in Diamond City, uh, but he only offers you $200 caps for it. And if you uh, ask for more money, which I'm not going to do yet, uh, he will do uh, two. You'll ask 250 caps and he'll turn you down. Maybe if your charisma is high enough, he won't refuse you. But honestly, if he's only going to give me 200 caps, I'm just going to keep it. But anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for more Fallout 4 videos in the future. As always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.